hi guys welcome back to my tutorial today in this tutorial i will show you guys how to edit this mona lisa photo from this stage to a somewhat realistic or uh, portrait photo something similar to this one so let's get started all right guys so let's start the tutorial uh, before i start i want to tell you two things one this image which i'm using is a relatively large image but i'm targeting the final output to be smaller version something along this line or maybe this line and uh, if you guys wanted to have a larger image you need to find a very large image of this mona lisa the reason for this one is i need to take out these cracks and uh, all these lines from this image so it's better to have a larger image and edit it to scale down then it will look better if you are using the same size image for under person removing this crack will be a little bit difficult all right mm. the second thing i want to tell you is please have a reference image so that you can use that image tone and skin tones to make your artwork photo realistic as possible okay for my case i already have a reference image which is this one just downloaded from a website so just bring it to the photo and keep it in one side and just hide for now okay so let's uh, start with the removing these lines to remove these lines you can use many ways in photoshop to do this you can spend a lot of time and use healing brush tools to uh, take down these colors and replace with these colors or you can use uh, content aware filter to content aware fill to uh, edit these lines but all of them will take a lot of time to do it what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the easiest and fastest method to remove these lines that's why i say in the beginning it won't be 100 percent perfect so you need to have a larger image so that your final product in a smaller scale which will look nice okay let's start making a copy of this layer you can do it by just right clicking here and duplicate layer or press ctrl or command j in mac okay so we already copy a layer so now we select this new layer and go to filters and go to camera row filter all right guys so you can zoom in to see the cracks better or you can keep it like this i think this way we can see everything i now going to change this image profile to monochrome so that image will convert to black and white and then we need to take out this line there are a couple of things we need to do to take out these lines mm -hmm. uh, you can bring down the texture here as you guys can see when you bring down the complete texture it's appearing like a like a smug effect on top of the uh, photo mm -hmm. and also you can bring down the clarity here you can bring down the clarity here as you guys can see this look like a haze so you can adjust with this this part here the haze a bit here but we don't want to see those lines also so make sure make sure it's almost there please try to keep the balance we don't need to lose so much detail and like this here okay so we leave this part here now we go to the detail tab here and in detail increase the luminance in the noise reduction section increase the luminance to 100 percent and then bring the luminance details to low level not so much maybe until here until here also the contrast and you can do the same for color also uh, but as you guys can see the image is almost disappearing so we need to go back here and bring the clarity a bit and the texture a bit more so play with these settings guys your image may have different settings so my image i have these settings and also bring the blacks a bit down 
and you can adjust all those things to get a perfect perfect look all right this look okay but still we see a lot of lines here so i will bring down the clarity until this and the texture to almost minus almost to the end i think this one looks okay a little bit more okay all right guys i think this is good enough for now and i will say okay all right so our image is now very dull easy and blurred image so let's increase the curves a bit and make the make it a little bit more lighter all right okay so now we go and change the blending mode to luminosity okay this look okay and we can increase play with the we can select this layer and play with the curves to make it little bit more more realistic as possible all right what i will go now is i'm going to, i will make another copy of this layer the black and white layer which we edited from the raw filter this layer and go to filters and select the blur and select the gaussian blur gaussian blur and then increase it up to maybe until those lines disappear i think this level is look better all right okay so i say okay but you see the image is too much uh, blurred so what i want to do now is i want to apply a mask for this one and apply the black color to this mask to do that you can easily do by control backspace or command backspace which will completely apply black color which is selected here to this mask so while the mask selected go to the brush select the hair, hair brush like this soft down brush like this and make the opacity uh, 10 percent is fine and bring it and ap apply white color to the mask until you guys are satisfied with these lines maybe increase the opacity a bit by 30 percent and guys can increase more also and we can remove these from the hair also uh, i'm not focusing on the background we can we don't need to focus on the background for this image because we are going to make this image as a portrait which is only focused on the face and the portrait all right so i think you guys can do it by spending a lot of time i'm just doing it faster and i'm only focusing on on the parts which is going to be very visible in the final out output all right i think this looks mm, this look fine yeah okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of them you can have a copy of the original image for future reference so i will make this original original if i can spell okay just leave it like that and i hide this one and i will select all these three and make it as a convert to smart object now we have one smart object and now we can increase the brightness and contrast by the levels and yeah this look all okay please keep in mind guys the we are only going to make this image like a smartphone filtered image so not going to be like very realistic if i may say all right guys so let's uh, make this image little bit more sharper to do it i'm going to use uh sharpen sharpen and unsharpen mask and i'm going to uh, apply a unsharpen mask filter here 
so just look edges until you will get a proper but don't edit too much then you will see all this line back again so we keep it focus on the eye which is a better area to focus and you don't worry about these color changes I'm, I just need these highlights and the dark area to be visible properly and yeah this look fine okay all right guys so this look better okay so i'm say i say okay all right the now uh, we have to apply the raw filter again and make it as a black and white image uh, we can use other paste black and white uh, make it black and white image but you guys will see the lines are very ugly and everything i will show you an example guys if let's say if you want to make this by desaturation method if you desaturate you can see it's very ugly the lines are there and all those things are there there's much effect everything is there which we don't need so get a proper to get a proper black and white image we go back to filter and go to the camera raw filter and in here just change the profile to black and white now you guys can see it's nicely appearing you can play with the textures a little bit and the clarity a little bit if you want almost you you get that skin tone effect look not too much though if too much will not look nicer and you guys can see this uh, see this these lines are appearing the air lines are appearing also okay so also what I one more thing I need to do is go to this effects and apply a green effect a little little bit green effect maybe like one or two percent because smartphone cameras always have this noise in the color uh, but not too much which will affect the picture you can zoom in to see the noise effect appearing in the maybe like this yeah this is fine okay so it will look like pixels in the final product okay guys so this is what we wanted okay now we can start playing with the coloring process to get the basic uh, color tone what I'm going to do is first thing first I'm going to on this layer here and maybe we bring it somewhere here you guys can later also you guys can change maybe here all right and go back to this layer and on top of this layer go to adjustment layer and apply gradient map which is here gradient map okay so what this gradient map will do is this will apply a gradient on top of this this image based on the highlight and shadow so before we change the colors we select the gradient if you are selected for mask please try to please change this to gradient here and then change the blending mode to color all right guys and then what we are going to do now is we bring down this one here as you guys can see in this photo in our mona lisa photo light sorry in our mona lisa photo the light is appearing from here and you have dark places here and here and here but in this photo the light is coming from here so it doesn't matter we are just going to copy copy the tones color tones from this image to this one okay so we go back to the gradient and select the gradient and select the gradient color here and in this one we apply the lighter tone to the lightest color you can find which is this one i think all right and the darkest tone we apply to the darkest part of this image which is this part not here and we can increase the dark part a bit also it doesn't matter you can increase okay then we will copy different uh, sections of this image from high tone mid tone to shadows so i start from the light tone here and a little bit darker tone something like this and a little bit more darker is here and this one and some more dark 
the more details you have the more realistic your image will look in the final product okay and here we apply a little bit more darker maybe here and for this last darker tone i apply this shadow almost here so bring down adjust this one and until you get your image nicely smoothly blended image all right i know it's dark now so don't worry guys i purposely choose this for a reason i will show you why after this adjustment okay and this one look fine and we just say okay for now so now we hide this image and let's select the mask as earlier console and backspace which will apply a complete mask to the, the to the to the mask layer now we go back again to this layer here select the mask select the brush tool and select the soft soft brush and opacity bring it to 15% and now start coloring white color in the mask right guys right maybe bring this to 25 percent yeah yeah this look better don't worry about it's not the colors are not uh, applying nicely i will Tell you guys how to make it more realistic so i will make this part faster and come back to you guys in a minute all right guys so i applied the base color to the tone skin tone which is looking a bit more darker tone but it doesn't matter we will adjust them nicely and what i'm going to do is i will apply now one more layer to this black and white layer i go to curves or levels is better i think and bring the mid-tone to a little bit more lighter and also the highlights to a little bit more lighter as well and the darkness darkness you can bring it like this all right all right guys so this the first tone in first part is done now next thing is applying some more realistic looking skin tones all right guys so let's do one more thing so as you guys can see this image is okay but you can still see those lines appearing in white color to avoid this part we can do what we can do is i'm going to copy this layer again we don't need this layer actually i'm going to copy this again Control j which will copy this layer and now I'm going to apply a filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and maybe I apply like uh, 1.8, almost to 1.9 percent. And you can see all of those lines are almost gone. Then I will say OK. Then for this one, the blending mode again, I will choose l luminosity. And, and again, we can choose to color some of the details from the eye and the nose this part we don't need this so i'm going to choose black color and I'm going to color to make them but the opacity let's keep it like 25 percent and i'm going to color the part which are very detailed areas like nose mouth and here the edges and the hair especially and which will be look sharper in the final output all right okay i think yeah this look better now so this is without this is with the layer and this is without the layer you can see how it's disappearing how these lines are disappearing if you zoom in you guys can see here without this one you guys can see all the lines you can see here and when apply it's all totally gone all right guys so i think our first skin tone is done 
now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this layer and select the mouth color from this first select this layer and select the color from this mouth from here and go back to this gradient map and on top of the gradient map apply a new new layer and this one make sure the blending mode is color color and start painting you can hide this reference image and start painting keep the opacity 25 and start painting on top of the mouth area here Uh, you guys can see it's nicely applying on top of the mouth and also if you guys notice in real images let's say this one wherever there is blood more blood vessels are there the, these places will look more reddish so what i'm going to do i'm going to apply the same tone which we selected from this one and apply wherever you see these highlights so maybe in here a bit and here and also under this cheek area and on the head for area here maybe on the nose all right okay so i think this is started to look better and also and in another layer make sure the layer is uh, in color blending mode i will choose this uh, darker tone from here and make sure the opacity is like 15 percent and paint under the shadow area like under the eyes if you see any photograph you guys can see what i'm talking about this area will be a little bit more darker then the highlighted part will be much more closer to red so that's why i'm just trying to achieve so i like this one and i again go back to this layer and apply the darker areas as a you can bring the opacity a bit more and make sure all the darker areas are painted correctly all right guys so the face is almost appearing as natural now we what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a nice blue color for the eye same as earlier select a color layer and select the color to a bluish tone yeah something like that and slowly apply on on the eye area and you can increase the curve increase the lightness and adjust according to your I think this this like this it look better and you can erase using the eraser tool wherever like here you don't need that here also here yeah. all right also for in the red layer we have to apply a little bit more red in the edges I mean let's bring it to right here Eye corners okay looks okay now we apply a color to the hair same as earlier we make the tone to 
uh, color we make the blending mode to color and let's play with this color maybe we increase the uh, we select the brush increase the opacity to 38 40 percent and let's play with the uh, i think this is too red maybe a little bit more brownish like this yeah. So let's apply on all this air and the veil. Maybe in here, we will also apply a green or green, most like bluish tone to the veil. Don't worry too much on the parts where the colors are overlapping. We will adjust all of them later on. Maybe this room. Alright guys, so we select all of them and I think we select all these effects area, all these layers until here. I think from here to here and put it in a group. Alright, so we have all the color effects in one group now and the other black and white layers are here so these two i will make as one group and this is the base image and this is the color color image so we go to the color image and apply a mask now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, delete wherever the, uh, the the colors are not needed so in here i will select this and apply b and paint uh, brush and just make it 100% just take out all the unnecessary part from this image all right okay and here also we don't need this one we don't need okay so in the base image i'm going to do the same i'm going to take out this background but i'm going to keep this original background behind Okay, so what you see now is the original image. Alright, nicely take out from... I'm doing this very fast guys, you guys can use your time and make perfect uh, edges and make it more realistic as possible. So just for this tutorial, I'm making these things very fast and uh, not worrying about the edges and stuff okay right and again i will change color by pressing the x to y and inside i will apply the color tone so i want to have nice blend with the background and the edited image okay I'm just going back and forth with black and white by pressing a X key and uh, all here you can press alt the mask then you can see all these things we have to correct nicely so I'm applying the black color which we don't need to show all these things you will see the background okay all right all right guys so we have edited the image and we have changed the background image. Now what I'm going to do is I will make sure <coughs> this background image is par with this same as this uh, edited image. So I will adjust the color 
first thing first what I'm going to do is I will make an auto color adjustment to the background which is okay and maybe we also give a auto tone uh, looks fine to me maybe we just revert it back and make it blur from the rest of the image so I only want to focus on the face so like give a Gaussian blur and make it something like this is fine and we can bring down the background darker all right and here I can play with the hedges and I don't want to see that those lines sharp lines so I think this is fine all right guys so i think all looks good so what i'm going to do is i am going to select all of them and right click convert to smart object so all of them are one object now and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to apply a blur effect again same gaussian blur so i affect i'm going to put like this time i'm going to select almost six percent maybe more around 18 and say okay select the mask so what I'm going to do I select the opacity 25 and going to paint the black color mask on top of this mask area here so you will see the actual picture through this mask and the outside area will be blurred like this so I will use my paint tool to nicely see the highlighted areas first I will use Make sure eyes and the nose all 100% visible and then all other places based on the light I will make sure most places visible and the darker areas are blurred because our camera is focusing only on the face because this is a portrait image right so I think a little bit more focus here looks good and in here we can apply a little bit more dark mask so it will look more you can zoom in to see more and here also I'm going to apply a little bit more blur and in here I will make it visible as as possible because our eyes must be visible and the darker area I will apply the mask a bit the mouth all we make it visible okay because I'm zoomed in you guys can still see those lines a bit but as, well, as I was telling you earlier we are not going to correct 100% but in a smaller scale this image will look nice all right okay all this detailed part I'm applying 100% visible and the darker areas I will make it darker looks cool guys so let's adjust the brightness contrast a bit then we are good to go see so I will what I will do is I will make make it a smart object again final thing I want to do is make this image a bit more uh, detailed and more sharpened so you can use the sharpen filter in the Adobe Illustrator. Uh, you can use the sharpen filter in Photoshop or for this case, I'm not going to use that filter. What I'm going to do is I go to the, I make one more copy from here and then I will go to filters and go others and select the other. In here, you guys can see it's, it's showing up the detail area. When you zero percent, you can see nothing. When it's hundred percent, you will see all these detailed part. Uh, but for our image I will I wanted to show the eyes and nose or mouth and the edges of the face Mona Lisa's face a bit more sharper not too much and uh, I also I think the air lines and everything is appearing nicely and let's stick to 20% I think this one looks fine and say okay 
now i will change this bending mode here to uh, darker or add light yes so i think add lights look better so as you guys can see this is without the filter and this is with the filter all this area is looking uh, very detailed but also some of these areas you see it's very uh, pixelated so what we do we go back to the filter here and same as earlier we apply the mask and hide these things which you don't want to show and you can also write some of these places and and keep the part you want to show especially the mouth area and stuff like that all right guys so this this one now looking perfect i think not too perfect but somewhat perfect so compare both of them you will see we bring this image from this level to somewhat here and again you can make this as a smart object if we made this as a smart object again we can use the filter and uh, camera row filter to adjust brightness contrast each each so let's one final time i will adjust the colors a bit here and there to make it make this image uh, realistic looking as possible so what i first thing i want to do is i want to increase the temperature a bit not too much a bit and the tint maybe towards the mm, i think towards the yellow color a bit should be okay not too much maybe like minus minus three yes and exposure also a bit more not too much guys all a little bit more and the contrast we can bring the contrast a little bit more lesser than used to be maybe it can be different if you are using a different image it may be different for your image so it's all in your eyes guys so also maybe the what you see on the video may not the actual thing what i see now uh, maybe you will see some sort of distort image uh, what you see is in the thumbnail or if we go to my website you can see the actual final image i will make i will put the links under the description and the highlight part you see the highlight part not too much not less mm, maybe around Around minus four and the shadows around plus four and the whites I'm just seeing the images adjusting increasing and decreasing until it get a proper proper results and blacks we can bring the blacks a little bit more higher so it will look more like a so the darker areas you see are getting more brighter and now the clarity and texture which we used earlier we can uh, play with these also when we increase a lot we still see those lines are appearing so not too much maybe uh, plus 12 percent is okay and clarity so keep in mind guys this image it's going to be a small image, not a large image, as I was mentioned earlier. So I'm creasing this. Uh, you see, under the eye, the detail is appearing. And so I will make it a little bit more like this. This one, we will keep it zero. And the vibrance, we can increase the vibrance or decrease the vibrance. In our case, I will make it plus 5. Saturation, I'm not going to do anything for saturation. This saturation is good enough. And in here, the lights, uh, the curve part, I think we don't need to add, add it so much because the only thing maybe I will bring down the shadows a bit more lighter. 
and the darkness to bit more darker and the lights maybe yeah this is fine and we don't need to do anything here I go the the also I think we don't need to do much details are already appearing properly yeah I think this look okay so I just say adjusting the smoothness of color all those things you won't see much difference here but all together you will see this nice smoothness of colors are applying on top of this uh, layer all right I think this is enough for now we don't need to work more on this one anymore so I just colors so I will just say okay all right guys so what we apply with the smart filter you can see the difference without and with the smart filter see it's applying a bit more nicer tone to the tone to the picture okay and uh, one more time uh, this should be the last time I applying this filter guy I forget to apply one thing to this image it is uh, we go back to the camera row filter here and uh, again we go to this uh, lens correction and we apply here I want to apply this vignette filter which will apply a nice black vignette effect to the image since it's a portrait and we don't want to focus on the background I will bring down the vignette to black if you increase it will become white but for this image I want to bring it to darker as possible uh, this look better and we can bring down the midpoint to it darker until you get a perfect result increase a bit I want to almost like a darker tone here almost like a black color here all right guys this look okay for okay to me now I say okay and if the highlighted pass a little bit more high highlighted than I expected so I, we can correct that one that's the beauty of smart object so we can double click on this one we can go back to that highlight uh, the high pass and again I maybe bring down the opacity to 40% and we can close it and say okay yes and now it's look better than I think this look better and uh, yeah guys so hopefully you guys like this tutorial and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial